Archangel and we're here with Money Carlo and we are on the Status Report, the new podcast from Stav Vlogs. And what's going on, man? How you feeling, man? What's good, man? What's good, man? We getting it popping, man. You are getting it for the opportunity, man. Nah, yeah, my dog, my dog, talented man. Shadow the Archangel. I think, boy, I was listening to some of your hits earlier, man. Shit go in, my dog. No, man, we, we, we here, man, we here about a non-sequitur topic today, man. I know you got your big things popping with Red Velvet and your mini industries, your perfect brand, yeah. your monster production, yeah. your music, your collaborations with Juicy J and Snoop Dogg, and the list goes oh, on, yeah. man. You are a legend. But we are here today, man, subject matter-wise, we are here today to talk about what if your girl, right, you had a crush on her. She was the yeah. apple of your eye. She was everything you imagined. Like when you when you were six years old, you used to write little story, little, you used to write little poems. You used to write little poems about her, man. Oh, wow. That's deep, so, love, right? deep love. Deep love. But you found out this girl of yours had an OnlyFans. And you actually seen a video. It was man's. It was man's. Them full on <laughs> abusing your girl. Oh, oh wow! Obliterating her <clears throat> insides. Oh, beating the guts in. This did she allow it to happen? If she did, then there's nothing you could do about that because her mind, her mind has been trained for those actions. And that's the actions that she wants. Right. Now, if it was against her will, then that's a whole different ball, and that's a whole nother story. Yeah. But you know, you know, my heart goes out to you know. No, no, no. It ain't like that. It's it's Shorty purely just has an OnlyFans, and she just gets smacked on OnlyFans. She yeah, gets, she gets smacked. She just a freak, man. She just a freak, man. There's a lot of them out here. You know what I'm saying? That's how they get their money. You know what I mean? That's the only thing they know. You know? Um, others, you know, use their mind and the others use their body. But mm -hmm. it definitely, you know, hurts because, you know, you had utmost respect for that for that female. At one point, yeah. At one yeah. point. And when you see that they went there uh, a whole nother direction, you know what I mean? It's like, it's like a slap in the face. But you're like, dang. You know what I'm saying? But it, it's real out here. No, it, it it is real out here, man. Like, imagine that though, your boo boo, man. Like, I'm talking about your, I'm talking about you, you you telling her to the homies. You 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 kicking scriptures to your boys and them about her. Yeah. I'm talking about one of them, man. Not just don't roll off the cuff like, uh, she just the swoop them. I'm talking about this was your boo thing. This yeah. was this was your boo boo. He said your boo boo. Yeah, yeah, this was your boo boo darling. Damn. Yeah. I'm talking about one of them and you found out. <laughs> yeah, man, but like for me, dude, just personally, I love real hard, man. I, I ain't gonna lie to you, dude. I'm like a real quiver a little yeah. bit. I'm a real quiver ass nigga, man. In, 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 in my hearts of hearts. So when I get a girl, like I love and I and I, and I cherish yeah. her and I think that that's yeah. my. That's my girl, you know what I'm saying? Like at the little sandbox definition of it, like that's mine type of thing, right? So when I see a dude just smacking her, I'm talking about you talk. I'm talking about a man disrespectfully <laughs> mounting mounting your female, bruh. Yeah, they're murdering her gut. I'm talking about disrespectfully dick. Dig it in her. Yeah. In a way that you just thought it was intimately for you, man. I, I, It just changes my whole perspective about her. Like, I can't even deal with her no more, man. And I know that's sick. And I know, oh, you're supposed to be more mature. And that's little... And all that. But, dude, I just can't do it. I know, right? That's crazy. What well, what about you, man? What's on your mind, man? What, what what have you been doing with 
Red Velvet? What have you been doing with your other uh, game shows and your other businesses? What has been going on, man? So what we got going on now, man? We got uh, we got Red Velvet popping. We got the comedy going. You know what I'm saying? We got a web series. Uh, once the web series is complete, we're gonna put it together as a movie. Uh, we're also doing Red Velvet, the cartoon. It's being animated as we speak. It's gonna be in 3D. Um, also, we got another cartoon that uh, I have a situation on. Got a business partner on. It's gonna be huge. We just got confirmation that NLE uh, Chopper is gonna be one of the uh, characters. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we're working. We're working. We're putting everything together. Uh, man, it's, we finna get this shit all the way popping, man. Next year is gonna be a year that everybody's gonna remember. You know, my, my words, but everything is popping off. Everything taking off. The music taking off. I uh, got a single right now uh, that I'm actually about to record. That's why I came in the studio. Okay. Okay. And where, getting, can they, where, where can the people find you at, man? If they were looking, oh, man, they looking can find at me at you. Official, official Red Velvet on Instagram. Official Red Velvet on TikTok. And uh, <laughs> official Red Velvet on YouTube. Everything's official. Red velvet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. So what, what, what gave you the inspiration for that, though? What gave you the inspiration for red velvet? Uh, what it is is uh, red velvet. Uh, red velvet was a want. You know what I'm saying? The ladies wanted red velvet. You know? And then it became a need once they got it. They needed it again, so I provided myself, and I'm red velvet. You okay. feel me? Okay, okay. You fulfilled yeah. the void. Yeah, I filled the void because every one, every woman, uh, desires a man that can provide. And when they provide unconditionally, that's a whole nother level of, of uh, glazing. I call it. Yeah. Glazing, glazing. So yeah. what's the origin of glazing? Where, where does that come from? So glazing is a new word for caking. Okay. You know what I'm saying? But uh, glazing is a way of life. You know, caking is just an action. Yeah, from time to time. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Glazing woman, she's she's well taken care of. You know, she, she doesn't want for anything. You're the provider. And normally a woman doesn't want to go anywhere without her provider because she knows that everything is taken care of. You okay. feel? Okay, okay. I see you trying to slide it. You trying to slide up in there, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> Even. <laughs> nah, yeah. That's what's up, man. That's what's up, man. So yeah. brand new scene, man. We about to get ready to pop off, man. I might be able to give you a slight little sample. Yeah, come on, give the people a, a, a sample. And what other like life topics, man, do you, you got on your mind? Like what what other things have you been noticing going on in our world that um, you may have some interesting perspectives on? Commentary? All right, so from my perspective, there's a few things that haven't been talked about enough that need to be talked about especially in the, in the Afro-American community. Yeah, give it to us, man. Give it to us. All right. So the number one thing that needs to be talked about is not talked about is uh, is generational wealth, uh, setting yourself up for your uh, for wealth and also setting your family up to receive wealth. Uh, the second thing is maintaining that wealth and increasing uh, your net worth, right? And then... Uh, the third thing is keeping the family structure together. Because right now, as you know, uh, the black families are kind of torn uh, in the majorities. You know, there is a lot of, of, of people that are taking care of their families and sticking mm -hmm. together. But uh, we just need to promote that more. Most of our role models are, are men dogging out women. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? true. So it's, it's true. like, you know, when you dog out a women... Uh, you know the guys praise you, but the women hate you. You know what I'm saying? Something so, it's, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. 
don't know about that one. I don't know about that one. I'm gonna push back hey, on that one because you know, nice guy, nice guys don't know. Right. You, you, you don't have you to. Gotta be a, you gotta be a fuck nigga, bro. Yeah, you gotta be no number but the thing is, you gotta be a little asshole, uh, a little bit. Little yeah, you gotta be an asshole because an asshole is somebody that stands firm on their word. Basically, yeah, yeah. You're like, maybe you just an asshole. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes you have to be a little asshole because uh-huh, uh-huh. you have to stand firm. And a woman likes to change up or likes to change you and try to change situations. But when you firm on your shit, then you're the asshole, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Which is cool. Because they ain't gonna do nothing but respect that. True, true. Yeah. If you lay down the law, they gotta listen to the law. And yeah, and, they, and, and it ain't like on no like Gestapo, like you gotta take all control type of thing. Like, you know, some some people may think you can have like diplomacy in certain aspects, but they ultimately gotta respect the fact that you're the leader. And you saying what you saying and you making the moves for the for the legacy and the generational world. So let me make the legacy decisions, and you go ahead and you you assist me in, in in the legacy that we building together. You know what I'm saying? And stop trying to compete so much and clash. That's it. That's it. And help. Let's fight yeah, together. Energy and, and apply it towards being successful. Yeah, let's get let's build it together. Like instead of pulling people down to come up, like. If we all push each other to come up, then we'll go up even faster. Go up even faster, man. Like how we be sharing knowledge. Like you find out something, I find out something, and that's how the, the bread keeps circulating. That's how the knowledge keeps circulating. Reach one, teach yeah. one. And, and eventually we can get out of this blaming other people because then we'll be so tight with each other. We built up. We built from within. And we ain't worried about the outside no more or who ain't included and who's pushing this and who owns that because we own, we built, we together. You know what I'm saying? We family, we tight. We can't be propagandized and manipulated no more. That's it. No. That's all the media is set up to, to set up people. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. all propaganda. All it's that, it, man. They control you and you just follow what we see. You know what I'm saying? Instead of researching, they just jump. You know where they got all that stuff from, man? You you ever heard of this guy? Um, this guy named Joseph Goebel? No. He's a very bad man, but a lot of people model how he used propaganda to push an agenda and their new agenda of how they mm. want to run the world and things like that. Because that's how you do history is you you copy or you build upon what has came before you. Just like how, you know, America got a lot of German technology as a result of the, of the war being over. That's what black people got to do with each other is learn from our history and build upon it instead of all this regressing that we're doing. We're not taking the blueprints from the past and making a B-21 spirit. We're not making nothing from it. We taking the blessings and the being able to vote and the, the new freedoms and killing each other, man. Competing with each other, putting each other down. Our women trying to send us to jail and take us out over petty jealousy, petty competition. But then, yeah, then, exactly. then really took your life, though. So. Yeah. Man. Yeah, that's crazy. Yeah, that's the world we live in, man. So we got to be the ones who step outside the box yeah. and uh, show people there's, there's, there's another way out here and show them a whole another lifestyle, show nice. them, you know, how to, how to build from scratch. And, you know what I'm saying? Because yeah. we, we, we go a little harder because shit, we got to go from scratch. From rather nothing, than, dude. From nothing. Pure zero. Yeah, to make something out of nothing is is a gift. It's a gift, dude. Like, I was listening to some other dudes that was talking about they started their business. They was like, yeah, I started my business. I had $100,000 saved up. And I was like, yeah, $100,000. Saved up. Dog, what are you talking about? You talking about AIU renting out gear, dude, working real jobs, dog. You talking about hustle. That's We did that as a team, man. 
I think God did that for a real reason, dog. Like back mm -hmm. in the day when we was all clicked up, working together, filming together, building stuff, because we was really doing it. You gotta look at that. We was really filming, really building a real production house. And I think that we all gotta get back to the point where it's like that's the mission again because we see it, it can happen, man. All the grants, all the loans, all the different things that just came out of nowhere. Man, it's the opportunity for us to really change the, the storyline, dude. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man. That's my little take on it, man. That's dopeness, man. Nah, man. It's just, it's just all us, man. It's all us against the world, man. For real, for real, to be honest with you. Yeah, so, so let me tell you this. So another thing that, uh, another thing we don't do is, like you said, stick together. Um, you know, we stick together for doing stuff for wrong, that's wrong. Yeah. We don't stick together for something that's right, and that's the weird part. So, yeah, we just need to, uh, you know, take take the model that God gave us and apply it. You know what I mean? Thanks, man. Yeah, we got the blueprint, man. We just need to stick to the script. That's the that's where we get lost. I feel like is that grind, that grind of just having to do that same thing, do that farmer's work. You know, I think that's what kills us because it's like. We've been doing that farmer's work for 400 years. Yeah. So now it's like, dang, I got to go ahead and now I got to do this for me. I did this for you for the last 400. Now this next 400 is for me and mine. All right, cool. All right, cool. And I think that's what stresses us out is that we know that journey is another yeah. 400 years of catching up to everybody else. We 400 years behind, man, culturally, education-wise, everything. That's why all the races are excelling against us, not just the fact that, oh, we make excuses, but we literally are 400 years behind in how everybody else was progressing and learning more and evolving their clothes and culture. We were literally cattle slaves, man, not able to progress advancing anything, learning anything new. So of course we, we got this like dang, like I gotta go all the way over there now. I just did all of this to get up to here. To catch up to y'all, I gotta go do all of that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we like a generation behind. <laughs> Dude, crazy. And people don't think about it like that, though. But you got to think about it like that. Like, shit progresses, man, in sections. We've missed all of those. Mm-hmm. We didn't get one of them trusses, one of them wheels and shit. Holding companies. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. LLCs just waiting with credit lines already ready. Foreign banks. Different yep. currencies. Lloyds of London. Man. Yeah. Titles.com. Sponsors this video. No, I'm just playing. They ain't paying us. Shit. Shit. Pay us. NFTs? Shit. No. I don't, I don't, let's talk about that, man. That's a good segue. Let's talk about the state of crypto. Like, what's going on, man, with that right there? Well, it's a transition going on right now, so... Everything's pretty much down, even the stock market. That, yeah, I lost I lost a bunch of bread. I just put bread in there. I lost like twenty dollars. I was like, damn, I just push it in. That's right. So yeah, man. Uh the economy's just in a uh a uproar right now. It's a lot of things going on. Um usually when Democrats get in they kinda mess up the uh the fund. And then usually the Republicans come in and clean it up. So it's one of those uh, situations where, uh, you know, Biden's spending a lot, but we're not getting a lot. So Yeah, we ain't making nothing, dude. We ain't exporting nothing, bro. 
Like, we not doing no work. That's what I'm trying to do, bro. Why, that's why you see me like I'm trying to drop product, man. Because we got to push out more product and export more things. Like, that's why musicians got to go hard. Because the, our number one export is, is, is music. That's one of America's number one exports is we export music and military and culture. Like, that's what we export. So if we ain't working as the artists to push out and the content creators to push out, dog, we're not doing our American duty. We need to make stuff. We need to get, that's why like just doing this, like how we just like getting on these, like these are podcasts, dog. Like, and we, we giving the people something. I've watched podcasts where we, where they'll give people just, <clears throat> just that, that much after like an hour of listening. But we segue into several different things, man, that, that can honestly entertain, inform, educate, and help. And thought provoke. If you really listen, you don't just skim by and look like, why are you talking all through? Like, if you really like check us out. You know, talking different topics, man. Doing our American duty, dropping music, cause everybody else trying to outcompete us. Hmm. Yeah, that boy deep, bro. No, I'm just, I'm just on here, I'm just on here rapping with my homie, man. Hey, real talk, man. That's that's just how these conversations need to be had, man. You know what I'm saying? Cause some somebody's gonna see it and it's gonna affect their life in a great way. You know what I'm saying? They're gonna be on the same wavelength. They're gonna think, and you know they're gonna strategize, plan, and execute. And that's what it's all about. It's about Facts. coming up with a plan and executing. Facts. Talk that. Back to the music. We about to play this one single by Red Velvet. It's called "Beautiful," featuring. Oh. Robert Curry from Day 26. Let's get it. Hey, you ready to get down and dirty? Uh, it's Mark and Jay Rich. You ready to lay that out? Oh, you yeah, the number one request is single by Red Fitz. Oh, yeah. I'm feeling that beat, bro. Get on the dance floor. Let's get down. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Nah, that's tough. That's tough. That's tough. That's tough. Yeah. 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 Uh huh. So you all can leave y'all comments in sections. Put the fire emoji. You know, leave the fire emoji in the box. Leave the fire. Interact. Yeah, there we go. Interact. Yeah, leave the fire emoji. Yeah. It's all in the glaze. It's all in the clay. Now that was hard though. That was fire. That was fire. That was fire for real. Yeah. Girls, the girls, they love me. Yeah. I'm the overweight lover. Beautiful. That nigga was flowing. I swear. Yeah. That shit was hard. Oh, Mona Lisa. Natural on fleet, yeah. <laughs> Oh, when they see ya, girl, they want to meet ya. I'm going to glaze you up. I'm going to hold you down. I'm going to lift you up. I'm going to spin you around.
Hey, I'd be a book 